sort of grown up with this urban environment might shrug, but again, back in what, the 50s, this would have been quite exciting. It suddenly went there and the underneath one. This guy's bike out the other way. It came away towards the back, towards the front of the car. <laughs> well, it's actually nearer me. Can't be much, I'll be on now. Some grips there if you want them. Easier to knock off a lot. Did you say easier to knock off a lot? things in there but I didn't know what to do with them. I put a bit more pressure on the wheels.
This is one of these, they're like um, fuse wire, we need to get rid of it. Oh god, that's it, that's got it. I thought I was on fire or something. <laughs> Impressed, are you? It's time oh, for a final question now. And when this one that. came in on the topic of sustainability, we had to have a go at our trip. It's not the same as it? definitely brought a smile to the faces of James Wall, Christine Wilton, or Flash. She can get quite worn out doing it by hand. Oh, you may not have the height here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I wanted the ramps, because I knew that you wouldn't even be able to get an angle grinder under it because it's so bloody low. Is it broken? It certainly grows quite quickly. It's really unusual to have a white wood. You don't really see much grain in it. So it's quite close grain. What I don't know is how long it lasts. You know, if this is in a bathroom where it's constantly wet, I'm not sure how long that would last for, but it's, it's an option. Oh. What sort of quantities are we talking about here? How many are you producing? Uh, well, we make about a million a year. Oh. Okay. Mm. Right, my Chinese uh, riveter there, don't get one of them. 
He's done three, four, four rivets and then died. So we're going manual. I don't know what you expect for eight quid nowadays. God, that's a good tool. <laughs> Take the thing out every yeah, time. I wasn't filming, but I've just averted a slight problem that would have occurred with the ramp on around the wrong way. <laughs> so a wheelchair would have had to navigate a bumper to get in the car. It's getting late now, so it's excusable. It's only three o'clock. Check before I put all these in. No, we'll go for it. How, it can't have moved. No. If we, if we cut like... that floor off and then we all it was ruined, I would have said yes. But it can't do. And anyway, got adjustment in the catch. <laughs> oh, superb. It's just a bit of a shock, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you think you're going to break something, actually. So further to my previous post, it's a very good tool this is from China for eight quid. <laughs> it's not going to last forever, but I only wanted to do another three. One. Number two. That's good, isn't it? Bloody hell. I've never done a rivet that speed before. No. We'll be adding on half an hour to the job by riveting, by hand. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. Mind your cup. There's, a, there's one spare rivet in there. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll straighten up. I may be straightened up and I'll stick it on another day. Yeah. Because I've got some. Well, the result is I'm not going to drive home with a hole in the back and the boot lid tied on. 
Is that all them, really? Remember I've got that. Yeah. Should, really. should you end up with some yeah. horrible pot-limiting job? Yeah. Um, I'll stick something in the end of that. I haven't got long. That's why I haven't got long. Right. It should click into the left thing. Outside. Hey? Anything, yeah, that'd do. Well, what a result. The end caps to put back, they fell off ages ago. Someone used a hot glue gun. That's the result, isn't it?